everybody. What I thought I'd do today is, look, I'm just gonna make a quick video with my iPhone, no fancy editing, no good camera, just my iPhone. Thought I'd make a video today of what my days are like in Costa Rica right now as I take the bus every day and head over from Paradiso down to Arosi. So this morning I'm hoofing it over to the bus stop. And uh, so, hey, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. So just hang on just a second. I got uh, a lot on this video. We're gonna do the bus ride down and we are also going to um, show you the language school and the town where I'm at. So, all right, hang on while I walk up to the bus stop. All right, so here's the way it works. Uh, you can see there's a bus stand here, but because I'm going down the mountain, there's no bus stop on this side. But what you do is kind of look for these yellow markers on the pavement. I know it's not marked very well, but that's that's where I need to stand on this side and you see the bus will come here in a minute. Um, beautiful day today. It's about 72 degrees, so it's gonna be a great day. That's how it's done. Um, the whole trip takes about 40 minutes, something like that. I cut some things out, but um, I'm in the town of Orosi. I went from Paraiso to Orosi uh, this morning. Cost me 700 colones, so it's approximately a dollar, something like that. So um, I have a few minutes for my class, so I'm gonna walk down here and if I have enough time, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee, but catch you in a minute. So um, that was the main street there uh, where the shops are at. It's a really small town. And um, I'm going to walk up here to where the school is. And just past the school, the language school is a um, little cafe. It's basically like bread and coffee type of thing. So I'm going to walk up there. I've got about 20 minutes before my class starts. So hopefully 
I got enough time to get a coffee there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of what the ride down from the mountain looks like. So Pedariso is way up on top of the mountain. This is Herosi's down in the valley. But, oh, let me show you. This is uh, on the corner here is where uh, the school that I'm attending is. I was talking to the owner of the school um, a couple days ago, and right now I'm the only student that's there. COVID just about took the school under. They um, they've been like two years without any, without very many students, just a small amount of students uh, because of uh, travel restrictions and such as that. Uh, from what they tell me, coming up here in January starts the high season because nobody travels during the Christmas air time. But uh, January starts the high season and they have several groups coming in. So uh, it's kind of hopefully pull them out of the slump that they're in. But they own a hostel, a hotel, and, um, you know, some tourism things here. And then they also own this coffee shop that I'm going up to. So let's go up there. <laughs> I asked for a pastry and uh, it's quite large. It's bigger than what I expected, but oh well, I'm hungry. It's banana bread and a little bit of ice cream. And I'm gonna sit here and go over my verbs and uh, enjoy the view. So what do you think? Pretty nice. Okay, each morning I come here about eight o'clock, stand here at this door and wait on Gloria. She just lives down the street and she comes up here. Like I said before, I'm the only student here right now. So uh, they're doing some construction across the, across the street. Um, I think it's part of this complex here. I think they're building a home for the owner. But um, anyway, just it's eight o'clock and oh, there's Glory. Buenos dias. See, si? bien. Telephone. Oh, see, sí. see, sí, uh, say hola, hola, Estados Unidos. Ah, hola. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get inside and um, get my class. She just said she picked up the wrong key. Okay, all right. Okay, so she just left her house and she picked up the wrong key to the door. So uh, she's gonna run down there and get it. Uh, all right, Gloria got her keys back and uh, we're just kind of walking in. Uh, you can see they got a nice little courtyard area here. And uh, they got some really big goldfish down in here. And this is the classroom that uh, we are utilizing. It's really helping me out, uh, just kind of being a little bit on the interior so I can see good. So this is it. I sit here three hours a day and uh, Gloria tries to teach a stupid old man <laughs> some Spanish. <so. laughs> All right, uh, we'll let you go. Okay, here it is. I've been going like two hours now in school. Uh, take a break. Normally I go an hour and a half and then I take about a 15 minute break. The teacher goes and does her thing. Uh, but today we got carried away a little bit and just forgot the break. So I went like two hours. My classroom's in here, like I was saying. And then um, what I got here on the table is some crackers, cheese and crackers. And uh, so I'm taking a 15 minute break now, having some cheese and crackers and some water. And um, just, yeah, I'm just gonna get up and stretch my legs a little bit. Let me turn the camera around. There you go. So typically, on the break, I don't get up and walk the street or anything. I just kind of just stay in this little area here and just kind of do some pacing and kind of oh, look at the fish that are in the water. And um, she has some fish food right here. Every day she puts some fish food in there. Um, the sky is beautiful. The temperatures are really nice. It's probably 72 degrees something like that if you're not standing in the sun if you're standing in the sun then that uh, can be warmer but this is it normally there's like 25 people or so here 25 or 30 people 
They have five classrooms with uh, typically about five people in each classroom with one teacher. Uh, I'm fortunate right now is that I'm just getting this one-on-one -on -one because um, oh, they're just they're just um, a little bit down in students right now. Um, there's a hostel here, but this is just only classrooms right now. So um, they have a bathroom and a place to wash your hands. Um, there were some people here yesterday as I was leaving that were beginning to just do some renovations, do some work. As you can see, the the place has been a couple years, two, two, almost two and a half years because of COVID. Um, not much going on here, but um, that's about it. So I'll walk around here a couple hours and, or 15 minutes or so, sorry. And um, kind of just stretch my legs a little bit and give my brain a rest because it's only in Spanish. Uh, the instruction, very little English. So it's quite taxing on the brain. So that's it. All right, I'm going to have my Ritz cheese and crackers and uh, I'll get back with you in a second. Okay, that's a day in the class. I've uh, just walked down the street and I'm sitting here at the bus stop waiting on the bus. And uh, I don't know, they, I think the bus runs every half hour, but sometimes I get here just as, it's not exactly at the top, top and the bottom of the hour. Sometimes I have to wait a little bit longer. Sometimes I just get here and you know the bus comes. So, all right, we're gonna sit here and wait a little bit and uh, get on the bus. Okay, back on the bus again. Um, I don't get it here. Some conductors make you put the mask on. Some conductors say it's not important. So I always have it ready because I never know what is going to happen and I don't want to draw any attention to myself. So I, I just take it off now. So I'm sitting in the seat by myself. So I chose the right side of the bus because um, the other side of the bus is up against the mountain. So on this side of the bus, I have the small scenic views and the, um, you know, the views of the valley and the rivers. So uh, that's why I choose this side of the bus. And it's more important to me. Actually, I think it's a metaphor for life. If you think about it, when you get on the bus, you can choose what side you want to sit on. So you can you get up every day. You can decide if you're gonna sit on the wrong side of the bus and have a crappy day or you can sit on the good side of the bus and uh, enjoy the ride. So uh, just a metaphor for the day. Take a look out the window. You're not going to be able to see a bunch in front of us, but take a look out the window at the side. I think, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. There was a fire here earlier in the week and this market burnt. So that's what you've seen there. They were, okay, this is the little town of Arosi and uh, they have a lot of different vendors and Things. So we're going to make several stops. The next stop is the school. So um, sometimes a lot of kids get on the bus. It just depends. But um, yeah, take a look. Thank you. 
bridge we're getting ready to go across is a one lane bridge so we have a stoplight here so the bus is stopping and it only lets a few cars across and then the light changes these are some houses stock a little community right along the river okay it's our turn I'll do my best here to think of where you can see uh, it's just like a one lane bridge There is a footbridge that crosses the river, it goes from one settlement on the other side to the other. Um, I'll see if I can see it. I don't think we're going to be able to see it, but there is a footbridge that goes across the river. Awesome. So he kind of pushes his way. Look here, you see the road was washed away. So it's down to one lane. And there's some houses along the river. This one's interesting because it's got gargoyles on it. I'm not quite sure why. But as you can see, the hill is very big. So the bus... Uh, it's not a very fast trip up the hill because the bus has to use a lower gear. But we're gaining altitude and you can you catch glimpses through the trees of, of the valley below. I'm hoping to catch some of that. I know it's not the best on the video, but let me see. You can kind of see some of the valley. There's the town below. How about this? This is a great view here. On the weekends, they have a lot of vendors set up here in this spot. They're selling pineapples and uh, different food vendors. It's a weekday, so there's nothing like that now. stop here before too long so I'm gonna have to reach over and push the button mine will be the next stop so after this after the bus uh, stops on this I'll push the button here in a second the conductor will stop at my next stop. Coming up is uh, the church that we attend while we're here. I'll show you. You can see that. Yeah, that's the church that we attend. So now I can pretty much safely push the button. So I'm going to push the button now. And that uh, lets the conductor know that I'm getting off at the next stop. Okay, there you have it. That's my commute from the language school up to the top of the mountain to Perieso. So down there is the little town of Orosi that I was in. So probably another five minute ride up the road, but uh, this is kind of like at the edge of town. So that's it. I'm going to walk down the street. I just got about a five minute walk and I'll be there. So I hope you enjoyed this little 
trek I took you on today. I do this five times a week and then uh, I'm off on the weekends. So uh, it's almost noon now by the time I got home, but I leave the house at about seven, I think seven, seven thirty. Get back about noon. This is my day. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have to put the camera down now because I'm walking uphill and whew, man, I get a little winded. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.